Just want to let you lot know that if you're watching this clip on the Fozcast YouTube channel, the full episode is now available to watch exclusively on Spotify. And it's free. Come on. Give me a big boy. Right. Come on, you. Didier Drogba. Didier oh, Drogba. Wow. Um, now, he scored in big games. Me. Big Chelsea fan. What did Didier Drogba do to you, mate? Uh, mate, he, well, he gave me some of the best moments of my life. Exactly. Do you know what I mean? He, he, he was a leader and the amount of players, uh, super frank. And recently, Steve Sidwell told me about the, the, post, uh, the pre-match um, Tell team me about talks. this story. So, this, this so story, he used yeah. to take his top off. Apparently, he used to be oil, oiled up, like proper He was hyped, a tank, by the but, way. Like proper that. And he'd get everyone in, get everyone in and was like, right, we're going to win this game. I'm going to win this game. Who's with me? And he gave these amazing team talks oh. in a big huddle, and everyone was like, "Oh wow!" Everybody loved they him as well, didn't they? It, like everybody loved him as a bloke and as he well. Always scored in the big games. Big game player. Um, that counts for a lot in this. Yeah. Oh, massive. Talk um, about big, Cantona. Big game. He's a what? massive game player. His record. And you know what? His first year at Chelsea, all the Chelsea fans were like, oh, "Not sure about this. Why well, yeah. is he not diving on the floor? He's not. He can't hold it up." And all of a sudden, he's a he's a Chelsea legend. Well, let's just talk about some numbers. 104 goals in 264 games. But in like you've played against him a number of times. If every Premier League striker to ever played was on their absolute yeah, game, yeah. A game, yeah. in terms of their pomp, yeah. how, like on his day, unplayable? He is the... If, if ever anybody asked me the question of who is the best striker you have ever played against, the best individual performance from any striker I've ever played against is Didier Drogba. Is that one day away at Stamford Bridge and Didier Drogba just... Phew, he just abused us, mate. He did. He, was, he has got probably the most rounded, full package striker I have ever seen in my life. He had absolutely everything and he bullied us this day. And you know what? I and, ain't even and, asking, and a lot of people say I'm that. I'm writing like his that. name down. I'm writing yeah, his I'm, name down. Yeah. Top ten. Top I, don't, ten. I don't think that's an argument there. Are we agreed yeah. on that? Drogba yeah. makes a top 10. Agreed, he done. has to, doesn't he? Yeah. He has to. He's an absolute beauty. Drogba! Um, Teddy Sheringham. Oh, what a footballer. Teddy Sheringham. What a footballer. What he's, a he's, footballer. I think he goes on to the maybe list. Oh, I, I think he's going to... Do you know what, actually? We can't I, go crazy No, he's not. List. he's not going to go on the maybe list for me. Yeah. I mean, he was a special player. Yes, he he was. was. a goal scorer, assist, and a lovely football player. Yes, and a lovely human being as well. But why is he not on the maybe list then? I just think having... If you could see this long list that I've got in front of me, <laughs> there are more prolific, deadly, horrible strikers that would... That you would have in your team, and I maybe you. lovelier, and yeah, even I mean, he, he human was. Beings. Well, what we basing this on how lovely they are? Yeah, no, yeah. just in terms of how lovely as a player. Oh, I mean, he was right. silk, weren't he, Teddy? He was silk. Oh, he was yeah, beautiful. Like, he was a bit like Letitia in that he style, was, of it, weren't he? Yes. Would glide with the ball effortless. Just looked like it was so natural. Everything just came so naturally yeah. to him. Um, but I, we've I'm, got I'm to be brutal. Him. Then you both said no, not on the maybe. He's not, list, in, so he's not, he's not in the maybe, but he's still he's a notable mention. Do you know why? Because he's just that's one that hurts you though. Yeah, I'm with. Yeah, like, that's the painful one to not put this him in. This is why I would rather have Cantona in, though, because Cantona would remind me a little bit of Teddy Sheringham. He would, just of that. Do you know what I mean? They had summer special about him, but yeah. Cantona was a demon, an absolute demon. Yeah. Uh, Robin Van Persie, lads. This is a tough one. This is a very tough one. Robin Van Persie, <laughs> 144 goals in 280 Premier League appearances and 53 assists. 144 RVP. I think that puts him about 10th or 11th in the all-time list as well. I think it puts him 10th or 11th. This is good. I'm really... Uh, so we is, did a I'm podcast. Really enjoying we this. did a podcast. I, I'm saying no. We did a podcast with Rio Ferdinand. Mm. And he said, we, we, we asked him a question of which one player that you played alongside at Manchester United was criminally underrated. No, we didn't. We asked him, because that team was full of greats, wasn't yeah. it, Ben? We asked him, which is there any player that came in and elevated that level? That's exactly the question. Right. That was the question. And his answer Robin was Van Robin Van Persie. He said, when he came through the door, he said, the level in training just instantly went up because everybody saw the most natural finisher. He was just everything. Touch in the air, wanted it physical, everything. He said he was just... Unbelievable. He said for, he oh. said that Ferguson said about like egos and stuff. He said he will win us the league. Yep. You get the ball to Robin Van Persie. If you do not get the ball to Robin Van, Ver Van Persie, you will not play. Simple. Thanks everybody for watching. We hope you enjoyed this clip of the Fozcast. If you would like to watch the full episode, it is now available exclusively on Spotify for free.